so here we are back at Borderlands. Different time of year, a little further into the fall. And this is where the trail begins to head through Easton. The visitor center parking lot stuff is over there. The trail heads out this way up towards Sharon and Sharon Center and eventually Newberry Port. Newberry. That's after quite a ways though. And now we're working our way south to the rest of Easton towards the Hockamock and ultimately the Duxbury Kingston Bay Farm border zone. This is another access way for your horse and whatnot. <coughs> Down towards the old quaint lodge. There's picnic benches. And before long you come to the sumptuous manse of the shovel oligarch and his belated missus who ended up leaving this whole mess to the Commonwealth. This is the house that Shovel's built. Probably a rake or two and a hoe as well. And this looks towards the Borderland Visitor Center parking lot and the sumptuous lawn of the Shovel Oligarch. And this is where the trail heads down a forest road that eventually turns into a cool forest trail that gets us out of here. A birthplace of American brand names, now enshrined as a park in the Commonwealth. And this looks back towards the visitor center and the Ames Mansion and all that other stuff. Here's segments of a Frisbee golf course. And a new rage and popular sport. The road takes a bend and here we are heading towards the Woods Trail, which should be rising up before too long. There's a cool old bridge, some kind of stream going through. It looks like it's got a lot of iron in it or whatever. It doesn't entirely look encouraging. This is the way to the visitor center. See it's getting a bit piney. And here's a stream, water's pretty clear. 
Nice old stonework. Little Mr. Harry. How are you? Yeah. No, it was probably the colonial era micro version of an industrial complex. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. And you follow the <coughs> main forest access fire road for a while longer. We should be turning off before too soon and heading south down towards Rockland Road. As you can see, you could drive a tank through this thing. Must be a picnic ground. picturesque, rustic bench made of a log. Goodbye to the bench. I'm a sucker for these old rustic amenities. And off we forwardly go. We're most likely in Easton at this point. This part of the Bay Circuit Trail rides piggyback on the Big Pond Loop, which is probably the most popular part of Borderlands, and we're, you're likely to run into people walking pooches. So Harry's already been styled. And there's our beloved forest road here in Borderlands looking back towards the visitor's center, the shovel oligarch mansion and the parking lot. And here we are heading towards Easton. We've arrived at the key turn coming down from the Borderlands Visitors Area. This looks over at the way towards the pond. This is essentially the road that circles the main pond. And here's a little Rockland Trailhead sign with its Bay Circuit stuff. And here we are at the Rockland Trail, heading down out of here to yet other beckoning parts of Easton waiting our discovery. And this is the way we came. You can hear creepers or something chirping away in the back. And this is the way we're going. An interesting plant here. This section of the trail is pretty wet because probably we had a nor'easter and then sandy before it. But one pleasant discovery is that <coughs> there hasn't been much significant blowdown damage. Generally, this side of the Bay Circuit through Easton is a much wetter area than the rocky uplands one encounters coming down from Sharon in the north. The 
beech trees still retain their leaves, a fading yellow to tawny something. And there's more straight away. 